Hey guys, Fallout here, and today we're going to take a closer look at the exotic warlock helmet, the Ram. The helmet has two unique perks rolled up together in one armor ability called Strength of the Ram. The first benefit gives lifesteal when you hit with any Voidwalker melee, which is great and very straightforward, but the other benefit just says increased armor. That vague description is what I'm here to tell you about. I wanted to find out exactly how much extra armor the ram gives you, and if that extra armor can let you live through more situations in PvP than other classes. So, first things first, how much extra armor does the ram give you? I tried to use low impact weapons to get a more accurate idea of how much extra health you can get, and according to the data, it comes in at around 20 or so extra health. I was able to survive only a small extra number of shots from each weapon. Now, that might not seem like that big of a deal, but it is. I've been reading a lot of things on both Reddit and the Bungie forums on what you can and can't live through while wearing the Ram. So I decided to do some more testing and put together a list of important things that you can survive while wearing the Ram that no other class in the game can live through. First up, the Titan Shoulder Charge. Yep, as long as you're at full health, you'll live every time. That should come in pretty handy for people who like to play Rumble, because I still see a lot of shoulder charge going on in the Rumble playlist. Next up, the Hunter Flux Grenade. But, oddly enough, that is the only sticky grenade you can tank. The Fusion Grenade and the Magnetic Grenade will still kill you. Moving on, you can take two Praetith's Revenge shots to the body. Not bad. And considering that it's still one of the most popular snipers in the Crucible, that's a pretty good thing. You'll also be able to better tank grenade and weapon combos that I see in Skirmish and Trials of Osiris pretty often. The first combo is an arc bolt grenade and a body shot from Thorn. The other one is a shot from the last word and a touch of flame Viking Funeral Firebolt Grenade. Any other class in the game, even the Titan, will die from either of these two combos. If you're a Sunsinger, you might know that you can normally only tank a Hunter Golden Gun shot if you're using Radiant Skin. But with the Ram, you can tank a Golden Gun shot even when using Fireborn. Also for the Sunsinger, the Ram will let you take a headshot from a number of high-impact snipers while using Fireborn. Both of those two things are great for anyone who likes to play Trials of Osiris, where Fireborn is a pretty important part of the meta. Okay, these next ones are, in my opinion, the most important by far. First up, the Ram will let you take two headshots from Red Death. Yeah. Red Death is currently one of the most popular weapons in PvP, so being able to take two bursts to the face when no one else can is pretty good. Next, the last word. The Ram will let you take four body shots while aiming down the site, when every other class will be killed. The last word is another weapon that is really heavily used in the Crucible, so good news there. And finally, the big one. Wearing the Ram will help you live longer when dealing with players who use Thorn. Two quick shots to the head, or three quick shots to the body, along with the burn damage, will kill any class in Destiny. Except a Warlock wearing the Ram. Now, saying that Thorn is a popular weapon in PvP might be a little bit of an understatement. Recently, Reddit user Spiffy Jr. conducted a study where 5,000 matches of Trials of Osiris were analyzed to find out what weapons winning teams were using. The number one weapon? Thorn. By an overwhelming majority. More than the next four weapons combined. The gun is used a lot, and being able to live through both two rapid headshots and three rapid body shots of the number one crucible weapon is definitely a big deal. Even though the ram technically gives more benefits to the Voidwalker, I still recommend it for both subclasses because of how helpful the extra armor can be. Now, there's something I should mention. In order for both subclasses to live through the things that I've just mentioned, you need to have max armor. Sort of. The Voidwalker can only hit max armor by using the perk Angry Magic. 
Now, if you don't use angry magic, you'll still have enough armor to live through all the major things. Thorn, both the body and the head, red death, the last word, shoulder charge, yada yada. But you will be killed by two Praetor's Revenge body shots and the combination of an arc bolt grenade and thorn. So at the end of the day, it's up to you if you want to use angry magic or not, but to be honest, you'll probably be fine without it. Alright, that's all for now. I hope you found this video helpful. If you want to see more stuff like this, then subscribe to my channel because I'm always working on more content. If there's a specific piece of armor or a weapon or anything really that you'd like me to test, then just let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time.